Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Moto Aftermath Show Fantasy Supercross Edition. Here we are back to uh, wrap up Oakland Supercross and uh, talk about the second Triple Crown of the year here in uh, Dallas. On the phone with me, it is, uh, he's not a quitter. This guy is is in it for the long haul with fantasy. He just loves it for the pure sports side of it. It is Mr. Cole Ugetti. Hey, bud. Yeah, bro. I love the sport. I uh, When I'm getting my ass kicked, <laughs> I just don't fucking quit. So. Yeah, exactly. We're not quitters over here. Not but like... apparently, apparently that's that's not the reason. Apparently, I, I, our other player is just not into it anymore. It's just not fun. Yes. Apparently. It's not fun getting your ass kicked. I have two weeks in a row of shit scores. So <clears throat> I was literally 15,000th this week. Well, good. All that fucking shit talking in the beginning is finally starting to catch up. Don't worry, bro. We're sending it this week here in Dallas for the Triple Crown. Can't wait. Sendy as fuck. So, all right. So, wrapping up Oakland here. Uh, oh, crap. Hold on. Uh, first off, congratulations to our Oakland winner here. It is, if I can get this clicked up here, XL1 with a score of 263 points. On their team was Robbie Wageman, Dylan Schwartz, Cameron McAdoo, Derek Drake, Jason Anderson, Josh Cartwright, Keg Clayson, and Christian Craig. And then also had FFLs of Jet, which was a negative 7, and Chase, which was a plus 15. So congratulations <coughs> to Excel1. Uh, if you would like to claim your prize, uh, we... Um, yeah, we we give those away. You just got to DM us on uh, on Instagram there and be like, "Hey, this is my name. I won, and we'll get you out a little prize pack here." Um, right now leading the league, LL Reb with one thousand four hundred fifty three points. So that's good. Good job, buddy. And uh, yeah, I'm screwing around way down here now. In let's see, where'd I go? 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 Shit. Oh, you got to scroll down a ways to find you. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, right there. 47th place. Hey, look at you on the first page now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right. So. Only by Shirley. All right. So my score from Oakland here was terrible again. I had 195 points. <coughs> uh, Suck in, it. In the 250 class, I had Dylan Walsh with 28. I had Robbie Wageman with 36. I had... Golden Jet with 26, and then I got Derek Kelly for two points, and man, did he get torpedoed there, so that's rough, uh, but thanks, Derek Kelly, for torpedoing my team. Then the 450 class, I had Joey Savacci for 32, Christian Craig for 36, Chase Sexton for 23, and Kevin Morantz torpedoed my 450 team with 12 points, because we couldn't make one more spot. Ooh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, anyway, Cole, what'd you get, man? Well, I had a score of 227. Go fuck yourself. And, uh, again, man, I'm on this. I'm on this every week having a super solid team besides one guy. I just need one of these weeks <laughs> to have all eight guys have a solid week. I'm, I'm still just getting shit on by one guy a week. And this week, that was Matt Moss with 11 points. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, good pick. I got moss like a lot of other owners did. You sure so. did. That sucks, but uh, it is what it is. I'll take the 11 points. It's better than your two points. And uh, I had the Canadian Cole Thompson, 36 points. Robbie Wageman, 36 points. And uh, the Jet at 26 points. So pretty solid besides Mr. Moss. Um, I'm a fucking idiot for taking Pierce Brown off my team and putting Matt Moss on there instead, but, you know, what do you do? Nice. Nice. Uh, 450s, Mr. Jason Anderson with 23 points. Not the full pull, but we'll take it. Uh, Colt, that good-looking motherfucker, Nichols, 34 points. That's a good-looking score, too. (coughs) And uh, Justin Hill, 32 points, paying off again. Um, he battling with his brother the whole race. If he would have got his brother for one more spot, we would have been looking a little prettier. And then uh, Christian uh, Pretty Boy Craig, 36 points. So super solid 450 team. 
And uh, I did do a first lap leader for Mr. Jet, so seven down there. So, Rough. Ah, what do you do? What do you do? But uh, better than you, I guess. So, yeah. We'll call it good. Yep. You know what? We're sending it this week. Absolute send. So it's kind of impossible to send it at a triple crown. But well, whatever. not anymore because they they don't. The highest handicaps are eleven. So. There's always that possibility, but moving on to Dallas, we do have a triple crown here. We're back on the East Coast, so everybody should be available to everyone as far as the 250 class goes. Um, <coughs> so, without any, <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm dying over here. Without any, ah, fr- yeah. without, dude, I'll tell you what. You know, how I said I was like sick Friday and then kind of like not feeling great Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night got real shit, and then it's been just like an uphill battle all week. And today is like the first day I finally feel like I'm kind of back to normal. So. It's been it's been a long week here. Um, anyway, uh, all right. So, <clears throat> two fifty class here for Arlington, Dallas, AT and T Stadium, whatever you want to call it. I got the cat, AJ Cat and Zero. I got Marshall Welton. I got Chris Blose, and I got Max Anstey. Mm. Full send. Full send. Uh, that's not super sendy. I got, uh, well, I guess if you look at my team, it's not that sendy. But the thing is, is if the cat doesn't make the show, he's off your team. You know what I mean? So yeah, I that's true, too. Really that sendy. But here's the thing. He's been qualifying well inside the top 20 every single week. Like, yeah. I think the first weekend he was like 18th or 17th or something like that. And then like... Uh, Tampa, he qualified like 13th. So he can put down a lap and qualify in. So that's cool. The only thing's going to be getting him to finish the main uh, or the mains. But I don't think that'll be a problem because they're shorter. So you got Marshall Welton. He's been hurt, but he's been getting better and better and better. Um, And so now with another week off here, I think he'll be good. Chris Blose has now had two weeks to do bike testing there. So hopefully that means he will be looking better. Plus, there won't be a huge sand section for him here uh, to take him out. And then uh, Max Anstey is just the best all-star, in my opinion. And I know the Deegan people are coming after me for saying this. He's the best all-star, in my opinion, here, uh, strictly because he has two like a two handicap because you can pick hunter lawrence but he's got a zero which means if something happens you have no potential of making up any spots so yeah that's my that's my logic behind this team and again as you said it's all subject to change because we have it's a triple crown so we'll know who's in but who's on your team right now well i've got mr colin park i believe he is racing um Right around 10th place guy. Besides, he got tore, he got dragon back at the last round. So, I uh, I'm hoping he's lining up and, and back to normal speed and, and pretty healthy because I think he <laughs> will uh, he'll be he'll be good up in the top 10 area. I bet I think he's definitely better than a 14th place guy. Uh, Henry Miller at a five. It's kind of hovering around that same area. That one is subject to change. Um, and then I've got Marshall Welton at a nine. And then uh, I've got Mr. Max Anstey at a two. Um, my Henry Miller pick is subject to change for a guy you're going to tell me to pick. Uh, Mr. Jordan Smith is a negative one. Pick him. And uh, God damn, that dude's got the speed to podium and potentially win, in my opinion. But, uh, man, it's scary. At a negative one. Ride, so. the, ride the lightning. Ride the lightning. Yeah, I like uh, – I also like Jace Owen at a three. Yep. But uh, – and then Cody Shock as well. But my plan with Cody Shock is I think I'm going to let him run into the over-under bridge again and I uh, hope he has a bad race and then and I will pick him up. So there's there's also the, Hart, the Hardy fucking Munoz here, which is, mm. in, my, in my opinion, a pick – option for sure uh yeah jace owen like you said colin park like you said um let's see here no jumping jack rogers uh i mean a lot of this is subject to who makes it in yeah jordan smith is spicy there with that negative one but uh i just feel like 
Yeah. Where, where is he at in points? Like Jordan Smith, he's got to be outside the top. Yeah, Batman. but here's my question with that. I have to look this up because I don't know. Is how close is he to double or to being in that top eight? Like, if he has a good finish, will he be an all star? I mean, next if week? he podiums and rides to his potential, he will be an all star <laughs> next week. Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting one. So. Uh, Tom Bial at a five is like a, I don't know. That's uh, almost too risky business for me. Who, but he's Bryce for fucking Star Yamaha. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, you're breaking up. You want robot voice on us? Hello. He's been getting started. Who? Oh, you're still breaking up on us. Can't hear you. Hello? Yep, Hello? yep now Hello. I can hear you. Uh, yeah, Nate Thrasher, I think, is going to be my oh, person to the finish line. O- okay, sure. I don't have one for the 250 class. Like, I'm I'm out in the 250 class. We've only seen two uh, two races, so, like, I'm, I'm just out. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're robot voicing again. Are you driving out in the country right now? Oh, by 28th Street, and uh, I just went around that little escort by your house. Oh, okay. Yep. So yeah. So you're you're falling out of service here. This is great. Um. All right. Moving on. Well, let, let me knock out my 450 team real quick, while okay. you can hear me. Okay. Go for it. All right. <laughs> I, I'm sticking to my normal guys, bro. Okay. I'm alternating weeks with Johnny Shanes at an eight, <laughs> aka Shane McElrath, and I'm I'm starting to swap Hill brothers, swap and spit with the Hill brothers. Josh Hill at an eight. Jesus. Nah, 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 you feel me? Okay, Josh Hill. You feel me, Shane? Here. And uh, Dean. Deaner the wiener. Deaner the wiener. And then who's your all-star? And then, uh, and then Chris Webb. All right. Any FFLs for you? Chase Sexton. Okay, me too. But the team is a little different so here. So let's hear it. Who you got? Uh, I'm rocking You're a... probably picking Justin Cooper, Adam Cincerillo. Nope. I'm, I'm Justin oh. Cooper... Eli Tomac, Freddie Noren, and Josh Cartwright. Ooh, what's Cartwright and uh <laughs> they're both what? they're both eleven. <laughs> Freddie. They're both They're both eleven? Yeah. Oh, you there? This is getting bad. Gray radio. Yep. All right. And we're okay. We're done. All right. So, yeah. So anyway, so my 450 team here, um, I'm going with Justin Cooper. Easy top 10 pick. No problem. Consistent guy. Consistent starter. Zero handicap. Eli Tomac just crushes triple crowns for some reason. So I'm going with him with a one handicap. Gives me one spot to play with if something were to happen. (laughs) And then, like I said, (laughs) I'm getting a little sendy here strictly on the fact of I got to start making up some points here get myself back into contention here for winning our league or winning something else. Uh, so I got Freddie Norn and Josh Cartwright. Both of these are main event guys. Obviously with the triple crowns, we're going to know who's going in. Um, so yeah. And then, yeah, as far as FFLs go, I do have Chase Sexton for the 450 FFL. I do not have a 250 FFL. Uh, now, as far as the 450s go here, uh, <coughs> I think Ando at a four for an all-star is a great pick there. Benny Blows, you could, or Bloss, Blows, whatever. You could ride the lightning with him. He's a nine handicap. He's been doing well, but he's due, in my opinion, for one where he just grenades himself. Uh, Chiz at a 10 is a bit of a risky pick, in my opinion. Oh, shit. I answered that on the wrong thing. Hold on. Great radio. <sighs> anyway.
Anyway, uh... Are you, are you still driving? What the fuck's happening? Oh my god, this is going great. This is going absolutely great. Well, this is the kind of this is the kind of expert analysis you can expect. Uh, Chiz at a ton is a little rough because he's in rough shape. AC still having arm issues, so I'm out on him, even though he's a three handicap. Cade is slowly turning himself into a main event guy, um, but he's at an eleven too. So uh, yeah, it's um, he's one of those. He could get swapped out for for Freddie or Cartwright for me so uh christian craig at a one i think is a real solid pick because he's starting to work his way very consistently into that top 10 as uh as cole was talking about the hill brothers are turning out to be good picks strictly because they're going back and forth basically uh shane is still a bit of a wild card by opinion with the eight handicap that is a little bit sketchy um, just because he can finish outside that top 15, we've seen it. So I'm out on that. Colt Nichols at a two, another one that I'm out on until I start seeing some more consistent rides from him. Um, AP at a four seems to be pretty safe <coughs> right now. Um, as an all-star pick there, uh, let's see here. Sexton at a one for an all-star. I think he's a good option if you can't pick Tomac. And uh, Cooper Webb, also another good all-star pick because, as we kind of know, Eli Chase and Webb are kind of separating themselves, so we'll see. And Dino is an okay pick, but, man, he was not great at the last Triple Crown. He was he had, like, a 13th place finish, so with that four handicap, you're kind of playing, uh, riding the lightning there, too. So, yeah, um, sorry, Cole was driving. We had an ice storm up here in Michigan, so uh, Cole lives out in the country a little bit farther than even I do, and uh, he is out of power, so he's been running around doing generators and batteries and all sorts of crap like that, so he was driving. That's why he kind of went robot voice there and then faded off into the distance there. So, um, yeah, so he uh, he's he's doing things. It's been it's been a crazy day at this point. So, um, But who's on your team? Comment down below who's on your fantasy team there for the Pulpamex fantasy uh, uh, game there. And uh, don't forget to sign up for our league. And uh, thanks to our sponsors here. Forgot to rattle them off at the beginning. Complete Racing Solutions, TLR TLR Coatings, Holster Co., Gutterworks, JT Cycle, Adept Creative Co., Isaac Nelson Designs, and Edgewood Farms. Links in the description down below with discount codes for some of them, too. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, we will be back next week with another fantasy show. Later.